thank you, I appreciate it. Um, one time I was asked to write a poem about a jar. At first I thought, what kind of crazy idea is that? I mean, what can you write about a jar? And then came this, a plastic jar. There was a girl who just turned five. She was so playful and alive. Her birthday party was so fun. So many gifts, she had begun to look through bags. One stood apart that captured little sweet girl's heart. The magic fairy brought a surprise. Good fairy's gifts are always nice. It was a jar with note attached, and magic words on it were etched. This jar will help you throughout your life. It starts from now, when you are five. It will have something that you need, but don't become consumed by greed. Whatever's in it, leave one piece, and through your life, it'll always please. No matter what occurs with you, it'll always have something for you, and never empty will it stand. And now, follow my command. The magic spell and jar was full. Girl opened it. Oh, wow, cool. So many cookies I will eat, but leave one always, I can't cheat. She ate her cookies few a day, they never seemed to go away, until teenager she became. Of course her needs were not the same. Looked in a jar, and it was full of coins, savings for her school, to go to college so she could. A lot of coins, this is good. She took some, and then kept the rest, for moderation is the best. More coins came from magic jar. Eventually, she got a car. She left a few there as fairy told, time to get married. A jar had gold, was full of jewelry she could wear, some chains, rings, bracelets, pins for hair. Got married, soon she had a boy, looked in her jar, and smiled with joy. The jar had cookies for the little one. Another cycle has begun. She had a daughter in a couple years. The cookies always brought kids cheers. And once they grew, it was college then. A jar had coins there again. She said, be careful, always leave a few. Jars never empty, now it's helping you. Kids left the house, started their life. It was a husband, their dog, and wife. When she was 60, he got quite sick, and every year kept getting weak. And then he passed. It was her and dog. She was so sad, mind full of fog. Looked in a jar, didn't see a thing. She called her fairy in a blink. My jar is empty. You said it shouldn't be. And fairy said, it's not, let's see. The cookies, coins, chains are gone. But at the bottom, you'll see a bone. There is a bone for your dog in there. He's the one now for whom you care. Dog died, and now she was by herself. She kept the jar on her bedroom shelf. She looked inside with her vision poor, so nothing in it was all obscure. Laid on her bed, tired, sad, and old, she called her fairy with a scold. Why is it empty? You promised me. And fairy answered, just look and see. There is some water now in a jar, so there's no need for you to walk too far. No one will help you and fetch a drink. So jar has water, pour in a blink. She drank the water, and that was it. Her mind and body did start to quit. She whispered, fairy, look now inside. The jar is empty at my bedside. And fairy said, no, of course it's not. It has the memories that you forgot. It has the pictures. They will remind your life and children come to your mind. Jars never empty. It just can't be. It's full of memories, what used to be. She closed her eyes, reminisced and thought, jar always helped her, no matter what. 
I hope this story you did enjoy, and there is a jar that might bring you joy, even without one. Life is a book. It's never empty if you care to look.